Okay, guys, so I'm pretty much going to keep this short and to the point. Like, this is this is crazy as hell. So my last video and some other videos that I filmed last month, I was talking about how a spirit might be living in my house and showing a bunch of crazy, scary things that were happening. Well, a few weeks ago, I made a decision. I would record Leslie and I sleeping for a couple nights, and I did. I recorded us sleeping for two nights, 16 hours in total. But what I didn't realize was how much of a toll 16 hours of footage would be on an SD card or a camera. In terms of my equipment, it was not easy at all, but I didn't realize that until after I filmed the videos. Long story short, I went to check the footage and I got a horrible, horrible error message that pretty much stated that all my footage was corrupted and that I pretty much wasn't able to recover any of it. Now, filming myself sleeping for two nights straight was actually really hard and annoying because in the back of my mind, all I could think about is this could potentially be seen by hundreds of thousands of people watching me sleep. I didn't even really get much sleep in those two days and I kept on having a feeling like is it still recording should I go make sure that it's recording but at the same time I'm tired and by the time I get up I can't go back into bed yada 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 long story short it was very obnoxious so I tried everything to get this footage back online recovery websites and nothing worked so I took the SD card to a camera shop near me and I kind of forgot about it two weeks later and I got the SD card back and I'm just kind of like in shock right now because it's just like unbelievable so I I skimmed through the footage. I looked for any spikes in audio or any weird movement or anything like that. And the first time I couldn't find nothing. I focused on one of the nights in particular because something weird had happened that morning, which is also what led me to really want to get that footage back. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but as I'm going through it, I don't really find nothing. All I kept thinking about was that there's someone living in my home and there's nothing I could do about it. I literally couldn't get to the bottom of it. I couldn't sleep. I constantly feel like I'm being watched and a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to get into because you already get the point. I didn't know what to do anymore, so I called the only person that I thought could help, Brian, or as most of you know him, Baze Rug. I asked him to meet up so that I can explain the situation and we could figure out a solution together, and he told me that he had actually seen the videos and was super freaked out by it. So last night, we actually met up, and I showed him some videos, but the main thing that I wanted to ask him was if there was any possibility that he would do an investigation at my house. I didn't know how he would react to this, but I asked it anyways, and here's the full conversation. Mind you, this is directly after I had looked over all my footage of me sleeping and found nothing. Okay, guys, I am finally with the rugger it's good brother now the reason i've joined you today bro you have a spirit in your closet yes, a very bro <laughs> a so, scary one dog so you've seen most of the stuff right? I, I was watching your video today yes bro that's okay terrifying how weird is that dog i just wouldn't sleep in your room anymore <laughs> bro okay, no so actually that's terrifying people are literally telling me like oh move out like yeah. like get out of the apartment i mean i feel like some spirits have made people actually leave their house this is bad so I'm what's the you, worst? Like, okay, the worst is the knocking. That happened two times. Okay, so just no, to refresh your memory, I know you've seen it. Just to refresh your memory, dude. Like I'll show you one of the knockings. Okay. Oh gosh. Just listen. Okay, the Brian, no, Brian, that, Brian, Brian. No, that's a, a straight out of a scary movie. Brian, mind you, I didn't think that this was the first knocking. I didn't. I was never expecting to make a video about this at any point. Dude, it I was like think. a. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, bro, that's the scariest thing, bro. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, just listen, bro. Th listen. Nah. Nobody was home. Yo, what the ah! Brian. Right on the door. What the f***? What the f***? What the f and obviously nothing was in there. What the f***? Bro, how did I open the door? Just to prove it. What the f***? Mm -mm. No. Do you remember? No. When that happened, I sent it in the Snapchat group chat that we have? Yeah. Bro, I was so <sighs> shocked. Dog, how weird is that? Okay, just, now I'm gonna show you something even weirder, okay? No, dog, why are we all haunted? I Brian, don't understand why, why us? Well, listen. We kind of brought it upon ourselves. We did, we did. So <laughs> we we did not complain. Yeah. But it is crazy what's happening. So Noah, baby Noah. Yup, saw Does that. he have, you did see it. Today, yeah, but show me again. Okay, bro. Can you do me a favor? You see the room right there? 
Look how his demeanor changes right away. Right away, bro. He's like... Can you go in there? Yeah. He only went in there. He, still... The only reason he went in there is because I told him I had a surprise for him. So he thought his surprise was in the room. Okay. Is he out of the room, Noah? Is he noticed is it noticed there's a closet. Is where, that closed? As he runs is out. Is this closed? Close it. Close this? Why? Cause. Cause what? Cause the ghost is a closet. Brian. How do you know? Brian. Why do you say that? Cause. Do you have to close it? Is it this or is it the closet? The closet. Why okay. The clo Brian, I've never. No, he. There's no way that he should know about that. There's no way. And this happened after I made my videos. Dog, people, I saw a comment that said Noah probably watches your video. The kid is three. Yeah. He, he cannot doesn't. comprehend he a video. Understand. Bro. Wait, dude. Dog. You know what the closet situation reminds me of? What? A long time ago, I don't know if you remember, this kind of like was the start of when I realized there was a ghost in my old house. I was playing Call of Duty. Oh my God, the closet, the clothes moving. The, the clothes in my closet started moving and then people noticed it and I was like, hold up. You didn't even notice him. No, I didn't. And then like after that is when like, I think I, I played like the Charlie Charlie pencil game. Like this and that, bro. Charlie Charlie. Nah, that's actually scary. Like how are we gonna get to the bottom of it? Okay, so the knocking happened twice. Noah is scared of the closet for some reason. Bro, I got a note. Under, so I got a note on my door the day of my birthday that says, I see ya. And before that, I got a note from a fan and a, on a Dior box, like for my birthday. It was like, happy birthday. I, I, I'm pretty sure this is your apartment. But it was, and then you've, after that first note, Leslie came back from her mom's house, 30 fans outside my house. First time what? ever. They took a picture with Leslie. Later that day, we get a note in front of the door that says, I see ya. Do you think it's one of the fans trolling? No. Leslie said they were like younger. They they were not like trolly fans, dog. That's kind of like... So that could be ghost related. That could be just a, a, a stalker, like stalker. a scary tro troll. Other than that, bro, like remember what happened when you were at my house and we we're when everybody was at my house, we were, we were watching, watching The, the Exorcist. Exorcist. And bro, weird stuff kept happening. We kept yes. hearing noises. Okay, so bro, do you think... I'm asking you. Okay. Okay, because I'm out of ideas. Okay. Do you think that you would be able to come to my house like one of these days, like at, towards the end of the ah! month and do an investigation with me? I, I mean, I would love to. That sounds thrilling. The, bro, I'm telling you, I tried absolutely everything. I put, I even put down the REM pod in one of my previous videos while I told a story and it went off and I, I was really weirded house. out. I was like, I don't, I'm not going to do this without Brian. I feel like I, there's things I don't know that you know that wouldn't make me fit to like do it. And I've said it before. I'm not good with the ghost hunting stuff yeah. unless I'm with you. I think the main thing to get answers is always the spirit box where like you can oh, actually shoot. make words out of the radio station. Shoot. Yeah. So I would love to do that. What are your plans for it? If you came over, would you like bring your stuff and we do all that? Definitely bring all my stuff and then we would just try to get to the bottom of why it's there. Bro, oh, why I didn't tell there. you, it took my trash out. It took my, where to go? Ryan, it took out my trash. Bro, 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 I had my trash. Dog, what are you talking about? Two big trash bags. Two big trash bags. Yo, that's a nice door. ghost. And that's what people are saying. So people are saying you could have a friendly ghost. Isn't it possible Dog, I could have a friendly ghost? How the f did it pick up trash? Bro. Yo, bro, wait, what? It Yo, I, I honestly don't even think it's a ghost. I think someone is living in your closet. Bro, that's another comment that we went through in this video. And I don't want to do this. And guess what else, bro? We had a housekeeper that comes on the first of the month. We got home. She was walking out of the room like, no. No, I no. swear she told, Le she told no. Leslie, she told Leslie something bad, something bad. Ah! She told, bro, she told Leslie in Spanish that there's something in the closet. She said that a girl that doesn't speak English, okay. like a 60 year old lady that doesn't speak English told Leslie there's something in my closet. Dog, okay, I, I retract my statement. I don't want to come to you. No, you already said <laughs> yes. All right, hey, say it right now that you'll come do this. Fine, thing. I'll come. Cause I'm scared to sleep, and imagine my girlfriend, bro. We, yeah, we can't yeah, leave yeah, our yeah. females like that, dog. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. She you're can't right. sleep at night. Is she there, like, right? Yeah, she's home alone right now. Dude, come on, she's chill fine, out. She's fine, but he's out. nice. He, he is a nice he's guy. Nice, he's, unless he's a human. Okay, you down? I'm down. Okay, we're gonna plan this out, guys. We're actually gonna ah! plan this out. I'm actually scared. Thank you.
This is worse than the conjuring house. Okay, welcome back. So that was last night. We had done some investigating from around 11 o'clock p.m. all the way until about 3 o'clock a.m. I didn't get home till very late. When I got home, Leslie was already asleep and I did what I normally do. I walked to my computer and I took out my wallet and my keys and my phone and I put them on the desk right over here. Now, when I looked at the computer, I saw that it was open to the footage of us sleeping because that's the way that I had left it. And I decided that I would give it one more run. I just wanted to look again it was nighttime and it was leslie was fully asleep it was my time to just like focus on it i wasn't too tired because we had seen some scary stuff last night so i just wanted to go through the footage this time I found something. I'm gonna show you one of three clips right now. Now, just make sure that you're paying attention to the far left side of the screen where the door is. Check this out. So as you could literally see, the light turned on. Now there's an explanation for this, but it's not a switch. I don't ever turn my lights on with the use of a switch. I have a sensor at the top of my front door and anytime that I walk in my house, the lights turn on. And if I want to turn off my lights, I go to the switch and turn it off. Leading into video number two. This is on the same exact night about two or three hours later. Check this out. So as I'm watching this, it's about four o'clock in the morning and I'm legit, I'm freaking out. I'm like, dude, what is going on? I'm looking around my room. I honestly just felt like there was somebody in the house. It was, I mean, you guys could imagine the fear that I was feeling at this moment. I had woke up Leslie to show her what I had just found. She had work the next morning, but I just like had to show her. She gets up, she looks at it. We're both just in disbelief. We're in shock. And then something crazy happens. So like I said, I'm showing Leslie the footage and we're kind of just in shock. We're just staring at it. Okay. And and after the light turns off, I didn't pause the video. I just let the video keep on playing and I looked at Leslie. And then in the house, we heard footsteps. Like we literally heard footsteps walking in the house, loud or almost sounded like a run. And Leslie started freaking out. She like moved to the corner of the room. She's like, what was that? What was that? I paused the video. I'm like, oh my God, like, babe, it's fine. Like maybe it was the neighbors, but I knew damn well it wasn't the neighbors because again, we don't have upstairs neighbors. So unless the downstairs neighbors were running on the ceiling, it had made no sense. But then I realized, what if the footsteps were in the actual video of us sleeping? So I replayed the video and boom. You could clearly hear what seems to be either footsteps or as I watched it multiple times, it sounded like it could have even been a knock, some kind of noise right after the light turns off. Freaking terrifying. Now, like I said, there was another reason that I really wanted this footage of that specific night. And the reason for that is because of what Leslie told me I did that morning. So Leslie woke up that morning to go to work and she was going to change and, you know, do her stuff. So she went and she turned the camera off and she went into the bathroom and into her closet to get her clothes. And apparently I woke up, I grabbed a handful of gummy bears Okay, I walked into the bathroom, saw Leslie in the closet, and Leslie was shocked. She said that she was like, oh my gosh, like, why are you awake? And I didn't say a word, and with a completely straight face, I closed the closet door on her and walked away and went right back to sleep. Leslie came out of the closet, like, laughing, thinking I was making a joke, but when she came out, I was literally just already about to be back in the bed. Now, some of you guys might think that's just sleepwalking, and even I think, like, okay, maybe there isn't something crazy to that. I'm not even too too worried about that. I'm more worried about what I saw in that footage. Now, guys, I read a few comments that really, really worried me. I read at least three comments and I know three comments out of 2000 isn't a lot, but I like to read all my comments. And I like the fact that everybody that watches my video can relate to what I'm saying. But these three comments said something along the lines of, this is fake or you're just stretching this out for views or something along those lines. All I can say is that if you have known me for a while or for as long as I've done YouTube, you know that I would never in my life fake content 
ever. And to the people that do think it's fake, trust me, I'm not mad about it. It's not that I'm mad or that I'm like defensive. I'm not defensive because I 100% understand. You cannot go online and see a crazy like ghost video and just automatically say like, yeah, that's real. No, of course not. So instead of yapping, I'm going to do this investigation with Brian. And if you guys want, I will legit live stream the whole thing 100% start to finish on YouTube. I will start the live stream before Brian even gets to my house and I will end it right when he leaves. And if you still don't believe me after that, then obviously you just don't want to believe it, which is 100% fine too. Some people are just scared and want to say like, no, this isn't real. It's fake. I'm going to keep you guys updated as things go on and look out for that video at the end of the month with Brian about the full investigation. I don't know what else to say, but with that being said, it's been your boy Sherman and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.